nature is a gift to us all and it's something that I think most of us take for granted and we don't realize how important this gift is. I mean there are times even everywhere, in every state, in every place on the globe where we can see groundwater. The groundwater as it exists when it's in storage is hidden. We wanted to be the voice that would speak to people about the importance of what it does. Protecting groundwater at first is the right thing to do, but we also have to look long term. It's the future of our communities, future of our country, future of our children. The only way we're going to be able to make sure that groundwater is sustainable and clean for future generations is with the involvement of all of us. So most people, if you ask them where their drinking water comes from, they don't think past the sink and the faucet. Groundwater Foundation is an organization that attempts to reach out to every person that uses or benefits from groundwater, which basically means everybody in the world. So we try and reach those people with information about the resource that they are utilizing and the ways that they can be involved in the protection and conservation of it. One of the ways we get that message out there is through our groundwater guarding communities. We have a network of communities throughout the country that work locally. So we're out at the Groundwater Guardian Outdoor Learning Area, which is located at Fawner Park, which is home of the Nebraska State Fair. What we do is we help to educate the public about our groundwater. We have a lot of people that come out here for the State Fair and it's a really great showpiece to show the public those components on more of like a, a public scale. This is things that homeowners can actually take and they can implement in their own landscapes on a smaller scale. Green Sites was sort of an offshoot of the Groundwater Guardian program. Um, Groundwater Guardian really works with communities, and we wanted to look at a way to involve other types of entities in groundwater protection. So we wanted to look at a way to involve businesses, and initially we started looking just at golf courses. Well, I became involved with the Groundwater Foundation when uh, the pilot program started for the Greensight program. You know, what I especially like about the, the Greensight program is it offers golf courses a, a unique platform to show that we are very involved and uh, very concerned about, about doing our fair share as a water conservation and protection. But then we thought, well, you know, why, why do we want to limit ourselves? Let's expand it to everybody who's doing um, things to protect groundwater on managed turf areas. Any place that has a lot of turf can fit into that idea. We partner with the Groundwater Foundation because uh, we both have similar missions. We are a leader in conservation. We're a role model in our community. So our community really watches what efforts we do, um, what kind of conservation we're doing here. Um, we're a constant role model. So becoming a green site and demonstrating all the different things that we're doing to become a green site here and, and what we're doing out in the community and outreach actually escalates our roles into changing behaviors across the community and locally. So when you talk about education being a catalyst to action, you're really talking about the future. So we decided to create an event that would be just for kids. And we called it the Children's Groundwater Festival. All the experts told us that no one would come, maybe 50 kids. What are you gonna do? Have a field trip for a groundwater? What? It's science. It's hydrology. It's muddy. It's and 2,000 kids came. We didn't really know what we were doing. It was a little chaotic, but it was awesome. It was great fun. 
At one time we had a 9,000 kid waiting list for this thing. And the governor came every year. Education is the basis for better decision making, especially when it comes to environmental practices and sustainability of a drinking water resource. The sooner you get the information into the hands of the people who will make those decisions, the, the better that they will be able to make those decisions down the road. So starting with a lot of our youth programs and groundwater guardian programs for youth or that have youth oriented activities, giving them a basis for which to understand the science that goes in to hydrogeology, they're able to make better decisions down the road. If you look at history, no civilization has existed and no community thrives without water. We know that over half of the world's water supply is through groundwater. So let's protect it, let's use it, and that's going to lead us to a healthy community and able to continue to thrive. A donation to the Groundwater Foundation really is kind of investing in the future. So looking big picture at groundwater in the future is helping more people understand it, more people take action to protect it, and realizing its impact on their everyday lives. So just giving that rich experience to students, having the professional learning opportunities for teachers, I mean that's a huge in-kind gift to us. And so I'd be selling our teachers short if I wasn't partnering with the Groundwater Foundation. A donation to the, the Groundwater Foundation, I think, really exemplifies your support. It shows a cohesiveness between the industry as well as the foundation. We're working together to, to make the world better. It sounds kind of corny, but we're trying to make it better. We're making a difference as a foundation by helping people care more about where they live, do more for where they live, and be more of who they are.